What is up everybody and welcome back to Kubrick. Today we'll be starting a brand new building series and man this is gonna be a fun one. You may already know that I'm a huge fan of classic LEGO teams and with this mock we'll be going that path once again. But instead of freezing my fingers in the snow like the last building series, now we'll switch to a much warmer climate and build a tropical island. I mean who didn't like the classic pirate team back in the 90s? The possibility to jump back in time and to a place where most of us could only dream about back then was something really special. And the part that I enjoyed the most were the Islanders. I don't know, maybe because it was just something completely different than the usual sets I owned back then, but I fell in love with the team ever since I got my hands on set number 6246. Probably that is why the first vignette I did after coming back from the Dark Ages was the Forbidden Island that you can see right now. I only had my childhood bricks at the time, plus a couple of collectible minifigs, so there wasn't much I could do, but I remember how happy I was with the build I made, and now I want to relieve that moment. Of course times change, it's been what, over 2 years since I came back to LEGO, so I decided to rebuild this mock with all the bricks and experience I gained over this time. This should be a lot of fun, especially when comparing both mocks after I finish this series. I'm not planning to make this a long series because I don't want to invest too much time and money into it. There are other mocks waiting in line to be built after all. I was thinking maybe 3 episodes with 3rd being the finale. And of course after that I will have to make a cinematic out of it to bring a bit of life into the bricks. Ok now without further ado, let's jump straight into the first episode of building the return to forbidden island. And let's see what I've already done with it, starting with the minifigures I've gathered. These by all means are not the final figs I will be using for this mock. I just took parts that I had and mixed them a bit with classic minifig bodies. I tried to combine the classic figures with some modern elements like face prints from the Ninjago series and some newer accessories that would fit the team both thematically and historically. The Islanders are equipped mostly with basic weapons for now, and the bows are the same ones I used in my last castle mock, the Siege of Bricks. I think they're just too good to be left behind. Unfortunately, I don't own a King's Kahuka mask, so that is something I'll have to get with one of the next Bricklink orders. And I'm guessing there will be a few. And ever since LEGO teased the 21st minifigure series, I get hype as hell for the new Aztec Warrior being one of the figs, and I hope I will get in in time before the finale. The series is set to be releasing on January 1st, so I'll try to get it as soon as possible. But the figs are just a small portion of what I have prepared for this video. First of all, if you're wondering what is a 501st helmet doing there, basically I couldn't decide whether I want to build an island or a Star Wars mock on Naboo using the clones, so I made a poll on my Instagram account and I let my followers to decide what I'll be building next. As you can see I already started building and I have a small portion of the mock done. Since I don't want to make the build too big, I think this is gonna be the outline of the entire scene. This is gonna be just a slice of an island with a beach, a part of a jungle and a cave in some sort of a cliff like my old vignette was. I went for a freeform base for the island, combining wedge plates in the front and some snot work on the sides. With the water I'm going into the diamond technique, but I'ma need to order a lot more to make it work like I imagined. And maybe I'll play around with mixing them with transclear ones to make the waves look more realistic. The part of the shore where the sand is wet is basically completed with part wedge plates, part tiles and a bit of detailing here and there. So now it's time to make a proper beach. Not big though since there isn't too much space to use and I really want to focus on the jungle that I already started outlining. The grass stems are placed lower than the sand to make it look more natural. There will be more sand in the middle leading to the cave and maybe something else in the middle. I have a few ideas but I gotta check them out before I'm sure what I want to make in the central section. I was thinking of a big fireplace or an altar of some sort, but I don't know. I'm open to suggestions so feel free to write them down in the comments. With the jungle on both sides and a path leading to the cave, I'll have to make some rock work in the back so I have place to put the cave in. The cave itself will be made as a stone face of some sort. This was always the most eye-catching element of the old Islander sets, so I have to make something epic here as well. 
Now that you know what the plan is for the build itself, let's jump into the hole because as I said I was waiting for some time for the bricks to arrive. And that is because I needed to order from bricks and pieces and those orders always take a bit longer. But what I could get only from there in a reasonable price were these wedge plates in 10. I got both 3x2 and 4x2 and some 2x2 corners to finish up the beach and make the line between the sand and grass more irregular. I believe I got 20 or 30 of each, both left and right ones, so this should be enough as long as I don't think about expanding the beach. What I also got from bricks and pieces were some plants I will use for the jungle. Most importantly I got those stems with large leaves that will look great on the ground. And what's great about them is that they have this green protector around them, which could also be used as some type of a plant or lianas. I also got 50 of these new flower stems, which I love by the way, and I only had a few of those. And since we're talking about plants, I also got some from a different seller here in Poland. Just a bunch of small leaves and carrot tops. And from the same seller I got some of those 1x2s with curved sides, which are always very useful and I didn't have much of them in Dark Tan. As for these little whatever they called, I have no idea will I use them on the island or not, but they will make some awesome detailing in future builds. Oh, and I almost forgot, I got two more animals from my collection that will surely find a spot in the smoke. It's going to be a jungle after all, so the more animals will be hidden somewhere between the bushes, the better. So guys, what do you think about this new building series? Did I got you hyped for more progress on this mock and for the ending effect? I hope so, because I will be enjoying this build for sure. A different type of climate gives more opportunity to build something completely new and learn some new techniques in the process. I am constantly scanning the internet in search for some inspirational photographs of tropical islands and checking out other builders who build something in a similar style. After all, the key is to make something that will be as immersive as possible and at the same time different from what others have been building. If you have any ideas what I could include on the island or any question about this series, don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, then remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, so that you won't miss out on future episodes. And if you are new here and want to check out what Cubebrook is all about, then check out this playlist with my other creations, and the other one if you are looking for some instructions for stuff to use in your own mocks. See you next time and remember to keep it breaking.